thing which I have spoken to Pharaoh. God has shown Pharaoh what he is about to do. Indeed, seven years of great plenty will come throughout all the land of Egypt, verse 30, but after them, seven years of famine will arise and all the plenty will be forgotten in the land of Egypt and the famine will deplete the land. So the plenty will not be known in the land because of the famine following, for it will be very severe. And the dream was repeated to Pharaoh twice because the thing is established by God. And God will shortly bring it to pass. Now therefore, let Pharaoh select a discerning and a wise man and set him over the land of Egypt. Let Pharaoh do this and let him appoint officers over the land to collect one fifth of the produce of the land in Egypt in seven plentiful years. So here he's interpreting these dreams. He's really prophesying about himself. In that moment, he's not trying to get himself promoted. I want to be very clear with that. He's following the Holy Spirit. He's just interpreting the dream. He's not trying to advance himself. He's not trying to promote himself. He's learned. I can't just share my dreams and keep, no, I need to wait for God to move. That's wisdom. So we want to stay in our lanes. I'm just going to say that boldly. Stay in your lane. Do what God's called you to do. Keep moving. Keep pressing. God's going to bring it at the right time. Don't force it. Just do the work that God has called you to do. And at the right time, you're going to be before Pharaoh. You're going to be before the king. You're going to be before the White House. It's going to come together. But stand and wait. And after you've done all to stand, stand there for him. And fully girded with the belt of truth, the full armor. Amen. The belt of of truth, the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, amen, the shield of faith, the breastplate of righteousness, amen, and the sword of the spirit, amen, I don't know if I said that already, but amen, you want to be fully armored, we want to be fully armored, we want to be fully armored, God is a good God, so verse 34, let Pharaoh do this and let him appoint officers over the land, our feet shall with the gospel of peace, thank you Holy Spirit, to collect one fifth of the produce of the land of Egypt in the seven plentiful years. And let them gather all the food of those good years that are coming and store up grain under the authority of Pharaoh and let them keep food in the cities. Then that food shall be as a reserve for the land for the seven years of famine, which shall be in the land of Egypt. But the land may not perish during the famine, amen. So Joseph, he's showing his wisdom. He's showing his dream interpretation. He's showing that he's giving wisdom to the king. Someone should say, Joseph is wise, and, and so am I. Genesis 41, 37 through 39. Now, Pharaoh is going to comment on Joseph's wisdom. So the advice was good in the eyes of Pharaoh, in the eyes of all his servants. And Pharaoh said to his servants, Can we find such a one as this, a man whom in him is the Spirit of God? My God. Like someone would say to you, I see the Spirit of God in you. No, we want you to do this. The Spirit of God is living. The, the, the unbelievers at your job would say, oh, the Spirit of God is in you. We want you to lead this project. The Spirit of God is on you. We want you to take this mantle at the job. Well, God wants you to take that mantle, right? And so you're walking into the things that God has placed for you. The Spirit of God is upon you. And that takes time. Yes, there's no junior Holy Spirit. There's a Spirit of God in you. But we have to mature we have to grow in the things of God. We have to sow to the Spirit and be ready to what God has called us to do. So we want to grow and mature in the things of God so we can have much fruit. Amen? 